It's another Vikings game day and Minnesota went for a big win today against the defending NFC champs, the San Francisco 49ers in the Vikings home opener. No Christian McCaffrey for the Niners, but toppling San Fran, always a big challenge. We pick it up in the second with the Vikings up three zip and you know what? Let's go crazy. Sam Darnold's deep ball is on the money for Justin Jefferson. JJ's the best receiver in the NFL for a reason. A 97-yard house call gets U.S. Bank Stadium jumping. Vikings lead 10 to nothing. And you know what, Ethan? The gritty's back in mini. There goes JJ. But the 49ers wouldn't go away that easily. Late first half, it's Brock Purdy to George Kittle, 10 to 7. Minnesota after that score with Kittle getting in there. Third quarter, 13 7 to Vikings. They're adding to the lead. Jalen Naylor nailed it. Touchdown, Minnesota. It's a huge win for the Vikings in the home opener. Minnesota tops the NFC champs 23 to 17 to start the season 2 0. This was the epitome of building a football team with a mindset through many, many months ago of what we wanted to play like, uh, how we want to battle, and ultimately how we want to come together and find a way to win a football game. The fans were incredible. Um, you know, for, for my first home game here um, at U.S. Bank, it was, it was pretty special. I'm just watching them run around. <laughs> that was pretty much it. That's one of those plays, too, that's really fun to be able to celebrate with the big guys while you're, while you're back there, um, just watching them run around. That huge play, a big part of his day. Four catches for 133 yards in a score. This 100-yard game makes some history for J.J. He's the fastest receiver to 30 100-yard games in NFL history, reaching that mark in just 62 games. Jefferson is quickly approaching 6,000 career yards and is 97.7 yards per game, which is about how many yards he got on that touchdown, is the highest in NFL history. He did leave today's game, though, with a quad injury. His status is officially day-to-day, -day, but Jefferson says he'll be ready to play next week. That matchup a week from today is another home game against another good team, the Houston Texans. You just saw Houston beat the Chicago Bears on Sunday night football kickoff of this game is at high noon next Sunday. Over in Green Bay, the Packers minus Jordan Love take it on the Colts. Malik Willis filling in admirably. Up 3-0 in the first, he finds Dontavian Wicks for six. The Pack up 10-0 on the first Lambo leap of the season. The numbers for Willis weren't eye-popping today. 12 for 14 for 122 yards and a score, but he made some plays, including this dime to Romeo Dobbs to set up a late field goal. Defense stood tall, too. The Packers get in the win column, holding on late for the 16-10 win over the Colts. Grand Forks is still buzzing after another UND football victory, and this one was even more dominant than the 52-28 to final score would suggest. That's thanks in part to a passing game that took a big step forward Saturday. Langdon area native Simon Romfo threw for 287 yards and two touchdowns in the win against Idaho State, which is more passing yards than he had in the first two games of the season combined. Head coach Bubba Schwaggert and wide receiver Bo Belquist tell us why the short passing game got Romfo and the team in a groove. There's going to be opportunities to hit some throws. You know, early in the game it was underneath throws, and then we got a couple deep ones to Bo, and I think that really helped us and got us rolling and gave us a lot of confidence. I think he's doing a really good job. Um, each game he's shown a drastic improvement um, in the past game. I feel like he's just slowly getting more comfortable and you know we had to um, throw it short a lot of the game because they were playing off and I think that helps him just kind of get into a role. North Dakota wraps up its non-conference schedule with their first ever battle against the Toreros of San Diego. That's quite the mascot name who are coming off of a bye week. It's also the third of a four game homestand for the Fighting Hawks and this one kicks off Saturday at one o'clock. We're going to hear from the team tomorrow as well. Ethan, we got quarterback Simon Romfo. We have linebacker Lance Rucker as well as the head coach Bubba Schwacker as always. Plus the volleyball team, the softball team. You can see that packed UND press conference at 1245 live on Valley News Now. Yeah. Yeah, no, awesome. It's good to hear that. UND, I mean, it's cool to see that they're off to a good start. North Dakota State's off to a great start. Great start for area college football. Yeah, fantastic start. Awesome. Thanks, Eric.